Good morning and welcome to bike monologue number four. Today, uh, I just remembered that I would like to talk about scheduling. And it's directly related to the practical considerations uh, blog post that I, I posted yesterday. On your left. Good morning. I think that rather than do the regular 42 minute periods, we would be much better off with a four by four schedule. Um, in most cases, I think, just because it would give us more time with each class uh, less tra less time transitioning, uh, fewer transitions, and more time for the kids to get settled and concentrate, uh, as opposed to the regular schedule. Hello. Um, I think, I think if we were to do that type of schedule, it might save us uh, some of our sanity, <laughs> to be honest. In a four by four, essentially, um, each teacher gets four classes a semester. And classes that were one semester long uh, are reduced to a quarter. And instead of, instead of say 42 to 45 minutes, classes become 90 minutes or longer, uh, depending on how they want to work it. Usually 90, though. <clears throat> Some of the core classes, of course, are, uh, well, they could still be a semester. Um, you know, you take a full semester of English 10, for example, Hold on. On your left. Good morning. Take a full semester of, uh, of English 10, for example. And then the next semester, you can take a full semester of geometry. Um, it would be terrific if, uh, if they could align statewide assessments if they have to at all with, uh, good morning, with the semester breakdown, of course. <clears throat> but, you know, the other thing that I was thinking was that there could be it wouldn't be a prep, but an enrichment uh, course that would count as an elective, uh, but a mandatory elective, if you will. And say you're on the humanities track <laughs> that semester. When you go to your enrichment class, one day you focus on some science work. On your left. Morning. One day you focus on science and the next day you focus on math. Um, and I know 
I know that people uh, think that, you know, it's good to have uh, electives and whatnot, but we may not be able to do them all. Good morning. Have a good one. Thank you. And we might not be able to do them all. Or we might have to do different schedules. Something like that. For example, I have creative writing one and creative writing two. Maybe I have to give one of those up. I don't know. Um, but if we have more time uh, in in the class, I think kids will get to uh, get into a better rhythm, and we'll get more we'll get more done. We'll get more work done. Uh, so, I don't know. I think we should consider that um, this year. And uh, I think it would, if we are going to return to in-person learning, I think it would really help a lot. Um, so, let me know what you think, you know. Uh, I'll continue this conversation with myself, uh, this monologue in my blog post. <laughs>